Hi everybody, this is Shane R. Monroe and you are in my movie nook with me. And uh, this weekend I've been trying to do a little cleaning up, not just getting some of the dust off because it is Arizona and every two seconds dust comes in, but um, also because I'm looking to try to consolidate. So for those of you who may not be collectors, you may not understand some of the, the first world problems that we deal with as collectors. Namely, moving from DVD to Blu-ray to 4K as you're moving through these different versions, sometimes the newer version or the better looking version may not have the exact same features, such as commentaries or featurettes or behind the scenes stuff, or sometimes even the aspect ratio isn't available um, in its original aspect ratio when you're going to another version. So one of the things that I like to do is, is when I do get a Blu-ray, I'll pull the DVD off the shelf and I will compare and see if, can I get rid of the DVD? So uh, the example we have here today is Dreamscape, a great movie with Dennis Quaid. So this is the original, uh, this is the DVD version and they call this the widescreen special edition. And uh, as you can see on the back here, we have certain special features. So this is a Dolby Digital 5.1 audio track, a widescreen transfer, enhanced for 16 by nine. We have an audio commentary, behind the scenes, special effects, uh, and still gallery. So um, sometimes these discs are flippers. This one is not. But if you look at the back, it's a slightly, it's a slight, has a tint to it. It's not really silver. It's more of a gold color. That means that this is a dual layer DVD, which not all discs were. Um, so this means it holds twice as much storage. So in some cases, they'll put content on both sides and they'll make it in the cheaper single layer format little bit complicated for the purposes of this video uh, but in this case we only have to worry about it only having one aspect ratio which is 16 by 9 or a high definition so what we have here is of course the collector's edition of dreamscape that came out not too long ago and uh, you can see that uh, it has a similar similar front sometimes they'll even ruin the box art right so sometimes they won't even give you the original box art so in this case they did a pretty good job of keeping them the same I don't know what the back looks like, but it's fairly close. Um, and a lot of these collector's editions are flippers as well, out there with their labels. In the case of like Scream Factory, see this is the new artwork that they decided to send with it. But they were always nice enough to provide you with the original artwork. For those of you who are passionate about having the same original artwork, they give you both. So I usually end up using the original artwork because that's what I grew up with. And I own this on probably VHS before I owned it on... on um, DVD. So our first step is to see, did we preserve all of the special features? So new 2K scan, there's a new retrospective. Um, so let me see what we have here. We have audio commentary with the producer. Okay, so we look up here, we got audio commentary. Yeah, look, the still galleries here. Um, new, new, looking back at the Snake Man. So I find this interesting. So the um, item that we're seeing that we see here, the behind the scenes special effect makeup test reel, that isn't necessarily here on the new one. Look, there's nowhere on here that it says that 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 um, featurette is available here. So what does that mean? That means that if you decide, hey, I've got the Blu-ray, I don't need the DVD anymore, and you give it the goodwill or you sell it or whatever, then that featurette may be lost. So one of the things that we weirdo, weirdo collectors end up doing is we do comparison item by item to make sure that we're keeping the same thing uh, on the upgraded versions. So what I may end up doing is, for example, I may not want to keep this case. I mean, I might want to downsize. So what I'll do is you can buy Blu-ray replacements that have two disc, place, two disc holders here. So I'll actually go in here. I'll take the special edition Blu-ray, I'll grab the DVD, down the other side. I'll either save the box art if it's possible. These weird kind of keep cases are very difficult to keep. And then I'll just pull this out. Replace. And now I have the collector's edition along with the original edition that has the featurettes that are missing on it still and I've managed to reduce my space by one whole disc case. Now in these cases like I said these weird sort of keep cases they're pretty cool actually if you look at them they've got um, they usually have some interesting artwork 
on the insides. They have track lists and everything else. They're usually a little bit more durable. So my temptation would be to keep this in case for whatever reason I might want to sell the DVD, right? So I'll keep that. But let's take it now. This Fright Night though is a great example. Um, I instead of uh, instead of um, actually keeping the case, I'll go ahead and I'm going to pull this. Let's see, this has a nice index card too. So these are the sorts of things I like to save, um, even though this one seems fairly unremarkable. It uh, it's still cool to keep some of this original stuff. So I'll keep that in the original disc. I don't have another another two disc case in here. But I'm going to pull this out. I'm going to get rid of this guy. That's going to go in the trash. And then I'm going to keep the original content. And I will end up uh, getting a double disc case for this, which I don't happen to have handy because I just used it. But I'll get another double disc case for this. And now Fright Night 2 is all set. So and the same thing happens when you move up to 4K, right? So if you take a look at the 4K Batman versus, I think I've got the other Batman around here somewhere. If you take a look at uh, a comparison between this and, say, the Blu-ray or this and the DVD, you may find that there are things missing from this, and you'll want to keep the original discs as well. So these are things that uh, this, these are the things that keep the collectors up at night. These weirdos that collect physical media. Anyway, I thought you might enjoy a little look in the inside of my crazy head when it comes to collecting movies and physical media. This is Shane R. Monroe. Please subscribe to the channel, hit like. And to hit that little notification bell, and you'll get more videos just like this one. This is Shane R. Monroe. Thanks for watching.